Welcome to All I Mouse TV. Today I decided to try this method if it will work out so that most of the times I can be using this uh, procedure too. Okay, here we have a question on exponential equation and it says x to the power of 9 plus x to the power of 6 minus 36 or equal to 0. What there will be the value of x? If you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button. So that YouTube can notify you whenever we drop an uh, unsolved video like the one you're about to watch right now. So let's put down our question. So the question says your x to the power of 9 plus x to the power of 6 minus 36 equal to 0. All right, if you look carefully, we can express the powers in their prime factors as a product of prime factors. And so this could also be written as x to the power of 3 times. 3 the plus x to the power of 3 times 2 minus 36 or equal to 0. Good. Here yeah, we can rewrite the exponent in this place and in this place. Recall the identity which says that if you have a to the power of m, n is the same thing as a to the power of m or bracket or to the power of n. Okay. So if we succumb to this relationship in indices, then we can rewrite this x, your x to the power of 3 or to the power of 3 plus your x to the power of 3 or to the power of 2 minus 36 or equal to 0. Good. You now discover that we have x to the power of 3 in the first bracket and x to the power of 3 in the second bracket. So we can bring in another alphabet to represent x to the power of 3. So we can say here, let u equal to x to the power of 3. What does that imply? It means wherever we see u x to the power of 3, we can put in u there. And so we have our equation to be u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 minus 36 or equal to 0. Good. The next thing we do here is to uh, look at our minus 36. We can rewrite 36 as minus 27 minus our 9. Okay. So if we do that, we're going to have this to be u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 minus 27 minus 6 or equal to, sorry, minus 9 plus minus 9 or equal to 0. Okay, with regards to this 3 and this 2 as a power, we can rewrite this as 3 to the power of 3 and here 3 to the power of 2. So this will now give us u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 minus 3 to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 2 or equal to 0. Good. We are having u to the power of 3 here, yeah, and we are having 3 to the power of 3 here. Yeah. So we can use this to marry this and bring this and this together. So from here, this will now give us u to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 minus 3 to the power of 2 or equal to 0. Okay, from here. When I have this together with this and this together with this, recall there is a special identity or um, these identities. We have uh, x, if we have x to the power of 2 minus y to the power of 2, this is equal to x plus y, close bracket, bracket x minus y. Okay? And what we have here now is what we have in here now. So according to this special identity, we can rewrite this, putting this expression in place of this. Then this other side, we have another identity which says that x to the power of 3, the minus y to the power of 3, this is equal to bracket open x minus y, close bracket, bracket x to the power of 2 plus x y plus y to the power of 2. Okay, if we succumb to these special two identities, then 
we have our equation to be here we're going to have this to be uh, u minus 3 close bracket bracket here yeah, bracket our u squared blocks 3 u blocks 3 to the power of 2 close bracket blocks here yeah, bracket dx will give us u blocks 3 close bracket bracket u minus 3 or equal to 0. All right. You discover we have u minus 3. We have u minus 3. So we can factor u minus 3 out. And so if we do that, we're going to have u minus 3 or into bracket or bracket our u, which is this expression here, u squared plus 3u, the plus 3 squared, the bracket, the plus. Here we are left with just u plus 3 close bracket or into our square bracket or equal to zero so we can open this bracket to give us here bracket u minus three close bracket bracket u squared plus three u plus nine plus u plus three close bracket all right again if we add up similar terms here we're going to have here u minus 3 close bracket bracket here u squared the plus plus 3u plus u will give us 4u the plus 9 plus 3 will give us plus 12 close bracket or equal to 0. At this point we can succumb to the zero product rule and if we do that we're going to equate this to 0 equate this to 0. So this now implies u minus 3 equal to 0 or our u squared plus 4u plus 12 equal to 0. Here on this side we have u is equal to 3. The, on this other side, the check out is because this is a quadratic equation. So we use the determinant factor to check if this will give us a real um, a solution. And so using the determinant factor, which is square root of p squared minus 4ac, then we have our b is 4, so we have 4 squared minus 4 times our a is 1, which is 1, times our c is 12, we have 12 here. Okay, so proceed. Here, we're going to have this to be 16 minus here we have 48 and so this will end up giving us minus of 32 and this is less than um a zero and so dix answer is rejected okay so we reject this part this one is rejected we suck up to the part where we have our u to be um uh, Three. Now, recall we said from our first expression, we said that let a u equal to x to the power of 3. So from here, we now bring that back here. We now say recall, recall that u is equal to x to the power of 3. So wherever we see u, we put in 3 there. So we have 3 is equal to x to the power of 3. If we were to have this to be the cube root of 3 equals to the cube root of x to the power of 3. This will go with this. So therefore, or this now implies x is equals to the cube root of 3. Okay. Therefore, our x that satisfies this our equation, x cube root of 3 is cube root of 3. So this is the solution to this exponential uh, equation x to the power of 9 plus x to the power of 6 minus 6 equal to 0. So if you have gained something special from this short video, um, give the video a thumbs up and do not forget to share with family and friends, members who need this knowledge. Thanks for always be there. Remember, this is still online mass TV and my name remains Jigs Anemo. Bye for now.